Good morning, David. This is Nicolette at Nanaimo Toyota for a quick walk around video of our beautiful white 2016 Tacoma SR5 double cab. Get you a closer shot in just a moment, just doing a quick peek. As you can see, nice and glossy. No major scrapes or dents or anything of the sort. Get you the interior view as well. So with this truck here, we'll start in the front corner panel so I can make my way around there for you. As you can see here, your hood is in great condition. A little bit of dirt scuffs on there. You can see it rushes right off. Nothing stays on the hood there. It's all little dirt piles. I apologize, it's not the cleanest at this very, very second. And looking down at the grill, you can see no major damages or chips. There's a little mark there, comes right off. No chips in the paint. Couple little scuffs here down in the plastic. And you can see on the bottom there, again, no major damages. Come around to the other side of the bumper and the grill here. You can see that this side has a couple scratches as well right in here in the plastic, but again, nothing major. There we go, you got your fog lights on there. Marker lights are on right now. Turn the tire here for you too, so you get a better look at the tread. Get a little shot of the wheel in great condition. And this is all dirt. And these little marks here are just based on the brake dust that gets caught on there. So those polish right off there. So don't worry about that. Got a little scuff there. It probably polishes right out and a little scuff here as well. And then another one here on the flare. Couple little scuffs should all polish out though. So nothing to concern yourself about. Coming over onto the other flare, you can see the same kind of markings. Uh, down here, there's a little bit of dirt mixed in with it. So you can see that brushes right off. Got some dirt on the mud flaps there. It's kind of wet and gross on the lot right now. Perfect, look at the tire and the wheel. Again, in great condition. Coming along the body here, you can see again, you've got a couple more of those little marks. Again, those will polish right out. Just based on the cold temperature, all the white vehicles end up having some of these spots on them at this time of year. No scuffs or anything on the door. And this mark here, again, that should polish right out, but it is definitely a little mark there. No chips between here. The bed and the cab. You can see the edge of the bed's in excellent condition. And again, on the flares, you see there are some of these spots, some dirt, and a couple little marks down here. And those appear to all be dirt, actually. Come right off there. Perfect. And the wheel on the back, passenger side. And you can see the tire there as well. There's a little paint film protector down on here. It's on a couple little spots on their vehicle to avoid chipping where rocks are normally going to hit. Taking a look at the rear bumper, there's a little bit of marking right here. Uh, dirt, perfect, more dirt there. And again, a few more spots to uh, polish out there for you, but we'd be sure to give her a nice good polish for you. And uh, one of our lot guys is an excellent polish guy. A little scuffing here on the gate. Got a cap for your tow package. Spare tire is in the back there. Here's your plugs here for your trailer. Lights on the side to illuminate your license plate. That beautiful Tacoma tail stamp. And your slow dropping gate. Perfect, so now you can see you've got a nice bed liner in here. D-clips at the front, adjustable tie-down cleats on the side. Got a little cargo space here. This just pulls out and then just twist, back locked. You got another one on this side besides your power switch here. There is a button to turn the power to that plug on and off. Couple more D-rings here. See, there's a little bit of scratching on the plastic here on the uh, bedside there. A little bit of scuffing and marks on the very lip here of the bed as well. Perfect. Getting onto the other side now. So you can see again, nothing major. A couple little spots. Again, they all polish out, no problem. 
taking a look at the wheel well and the flare here for you. Another shot of the wheel. Tire on the rear path, uh, sorry, rear driver side. Then more of the paint film, you can see the line here. And some more dirt to clean up. Little scuff here right near the door. I'd see what we can do about polishing that one out as well. Again, not a scratch into the paint, so shouldn't be a problem to get her out of there. Taking a look at the back here, you've got your power window, which is tinted as you can see there. Door handle, bottle holders. Back here we've got our extra floor mats. We've got the all weather mats down now. The seat has a little pulley here. Pulls up, you get a little storage compartment. Just like in the back, twist and, oh, it's already unlocked, sorry. Twist and unlock, and you've got your storage compartment. It's under both seats the same way. And this also pulls down for extra coverage. I apologize for the beeping in the back. We've got a lock guy trying to detect where a vehicle is. So again, you've got one of those poles on this side, pouch and back seat of the passenger side, and the same controls on the other door. You've got your dual cup holders here, a little foot spot there. Perfect. No scuffs or damages into the paint here as well. Close up that door. And again, we'll take a quick close-up look here for you. As you can see, there is a small scuff here as well. We'll get that taken care of as we polish. Coming over to the driver door here, you can see you've got your door handle puller. You've got all four window controls, your locks and your window lock and your power mirrors. Turn to whichever mirror you're looking to move and then just tap it back and forth. Bottle holders in the door there as well. You can see, just like in the back, seats are in excellent condition. No tears or scuffs or scrapes. Same with the passenger seat, no tears, scuffs, scrapes, in excellent condition. So on the passenger side here, you've got the window control for that side and the power door locks, bottle holders in the door as well. Then you've got this nice large space for your glove box. You can see the manual is in there now and some connections for the trailer hookup. It is locking with the key, so you can make sure that nobody can get in there. Coming down to the center console, we've got a huge center console space here. Down here, there is a 12 volt plug as well. Got some pen holders and things in the top there. Close that up, nice even level. Got your cup holder, a little other cubby, and two more cup holders. Here on your automatic shift stick, get that light out of the way there, perfect. Power, uh, sorry, park, reverse, neutral, drive. And they've got like a standard mode here, so you can actually tap up and down and shift just as you would if you were in a manual without the clutch. E-brake, and you can see here on the dash, you've got a few options. You've got like your USB and uh, auxiliary jack, your heated mirrors, four wheel drive switch. You just turn it. You can actually do that on the fly up to 80 and to, from two wheel to four high. Four low, you do need to be in neutral, put it into neutral, then switch into four low and then back into drive. You've got your fan speed here, temperature gauge here, Air conditioning in the middle. I've got to turn that on and turn it back down. As you can see, AC light is now on. Circulate through the truck rather than from outside and then where you want it directed. Passenger airbag indicator. It'll let you know if there's um, weight sensed in the passenger seat. It'll say passenger airbag on. Got your hazard lights and up to the touch screen. Here you can see that's the home screen there. If we go home, it doesn't change anything. If you had a phone connected, it would give you some options there. And if I had the audio on, it would give options there as well. And then you've got your settings there in your um, top of the screen. So you can see there's lots of different settings to choose from. You can really personalize the vehicle to your liking. Apps, you've got your audio, phone, messages, eco, gives you an idea as to where your fuel economy was in your previous drives. Uh, and then the setup is where we were just a moment ago. You can connect your phone through the phone button up here, or you can use the steering wheel controls I'll show you in a moment. Um, just so you can get a quick feel for the sound system, I'm just gonna turn it on here for you. And as you can see, that wasn't even at full, so yeah, it's lots of, lots of volume there for you too. You got your track and select here, your tune scroller, 
and these just move by your hands so you've got a lot of control over direction for your heat vents over on to the steering wheel here so got lots of steering wheel controls so as you can see back here we've got our cruise control this is a display um, button so on the dash there if I push that it'll give me some new options so I can go with these buttons here controlling it if I go down it gives me my current average fuel economy uh, last trip distance and then we can go back to um, distance to empty and how fast you're going with a digital speedometer rather than just the one beside it here which is your standard speedometer if we go back in there you've got sideways you can control the music you can view messages and you can go into settings so there's lots of different options of settings in here for you to go through and then if you want to go back you just push this little back button and it takes you back to the main menu and back over once I push the side button over here we've got our answer and hang up buttons your mode and hold so if I push this you'll see that it changes the um, mode of which I am receiving my music. So we're on FM, XM, AM, and back to FM. If you had Bluetooth hooked up or a USB controlled device, it would also pick up those as well. This is your voice activation. So if you push that and you tell her you want to call somebody, it'll ask you if that's right. And then you confirm volume and going through your presets. Back here, you've got your lights. So here's off markers and then on try and get a better shot of that so you can see what I'm doing and then over on this next dial if you want your fog lights on you need your headlights on and then tap your fog lights up one dial there so that you can see this image appear on the dash here for the fog lights and you'd be good to go see when I turn it off back on and as you can see right now, it is reading 13,895 kilometers on the overall odometer there for you as well. Um, down here, you've got that power switch for the plug I was referring to. And if you wanna have the light on the back turn on when you've opened the gate, um, this is the light it would be referring to when you open the doors and the gate, then it would uh, turn the light on for the bed as well. A little cubby hole. And uh, forgot to show you, here's where your wiper switch is. So you've got your intermittent settings. First tap down will go onto your intermittent, then onto your regular speed. There we go. And then super fast down one more. All right, well that is a quick walk around of our 2016 white Tacoma. And uh, as you can see again, driver door is in great condition. Just a few sp spots and specks to polish out and a good bath. Little mark here as well. Just to make sure I'm showing you everything, a little couple scuffs on this mirror as well here for you. Little scuffing right here on the flare and coming up and around, another scuff here and here. But again, everything will polish right out for you. Hope that this has solidified your desire to come by and uh, take a look at our 2016 Tacoma after we discuss the numbers. Hopefully we can make it work from your trip down to from Alaska. Awesome, David. It's been great working with you. Talk soon.